In the world of heavy machinery, there exists a legendary company known as Komatsu. They have garnered a reputation for being the most dependable and esteemed manufacturers of equipment, solidifying their position as the second largest producer of construction equipment globally just behind Caterpillar. However, what truly sets them apart is their remarkable Komatsu D575 bulldozer, renowned for its immense size and power. But how did Komatsu achieve such unparalleled success? Stay tuned until the end of this video to uncover the answer. Komatsu dominates the market, generating over 70% of their revenue from selling top-notch mining and construction equipment. Their impressive product lineup includes hydraulic excavators, bulldozers, motor graders, and dump trucks, among others. It seems like there's no heavy equipment challenge they can't handle. But Komatsu's ambitions don't end with construction equipment alone. They've ventured into other realms, such as the production of electronic items like silicon wafers and polycrystalline silicon. These endeavors contribute around 7% of their total revenue, showcasing their versatility and market leadership in both construction and mining equipment. The story of Komatsu began back in 1921 when the ironworks separated from a mining company to form a new entity. Toshiro Shiraishi, an engineer by trade, became the company's founder and first president until 1925. Under his leadership, Komatsu flourished, becoming a major producer of pumps and equipment tools. Shiraishi's vision and drive propelled the company forward, establishing it as a formidable force in the industry. Number 8. If it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. This quote is a clear guide to moral conduct. It means that if something is wrong or untrue, you shouldn't engage in it. It's a reminder to act with integrity and honesty. In essence, it advises us to make choices that align with what's right and real, emphasizing the importance of moral and truthful behavior in our actions and words. Number nine, accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This quote suggests that we should embrace the situations and people life brings our way. Even if we can't change some things, we should still love and appreciate them fully. It's about accepting and caring for what's in our lives, giving our whole heart to the people and circumstances we encounter, even if they're beyond our control. In 1970, Komatsu made their first big move into the United States, marking the start of their international operations. They soon spread their manufacturing capabilities to other foreign lands, with Brazil being the first location outside their home turf to produce construction equipment. From there, Komatsu's global presence continued to grow, establishing themselves as a symbol of quality, reliability, and efficiency in the industry. But what really surpassed everyone's expectations was the Komatsu D575A. The Komatsu D575A is like a beast on wheels, a tractor crawler with a whopping 1150 horsepower. It can tear through the earth as a super ripper bulldozer or a dedicated bulldozer known as the super dozer. Powered by a mind-blowing 1,150 horsepower per 860 kilowatt engine, this beast weighed a whopping 157 tons in its superdozer variant. This Japanese marvel was an absolute giant, capable of moving a mind-blowing 125 cubic yards of material in just one pass. Can you believe it? The D575 primarily served as a coal mining dozer in strip mining pits across North America, Australia, and New Zealand. Its arch nemesis in the dozer world has always been CATS D11. As the D575's closest and most successful rival, the D11 provides an excellent benchmark for understanding the Komatsu's immense size and blade capacity. So, even though the giant D575A may no longer roam the production lines, its legacy lives on. The journey of the D575A series began with the D575A prototype showcased in 1981. However, due to economic conditions, development was delayed until the late 1980s. The D575A2SR Super Ripper started field testing in North America in 1989. Fast forward to 2001, and we meet the upgraded models, the D575A3 and D575A3SD Super Dozer. These babies came with electronic upgrades, including the Palm Command control system, smooth and soft operation modes, and ECMV controlled transmission. The cab also received some love with a new suspension seat and upgraded displays and monitoring systems. Between 2001 and 2007, 11 machines were built, and in 2012, a custom order from Alcoa in Australia marked the final machine, bringing the A3 build number to 12. 
Each Komatsu bulldozer is identified by the letter D, which stands for dozer, because, well, they're bulldozers, followed by the model number, series, and configuration. We've got a series represented by a fancy dash, two or three, and finally, the configuration, which can be SR or SD. But here's where things get really interesting. Each of these mighty machines had its own personal identification plate, kind of like a bulldozer's ID card, located inside the cab. It's like each bulldozer had its own bulldozer individuality. Now, let's talk numbers. Serial numbers 1001 to 1043 belong to the A2 machines. But hold on, the serial numbers took a little break there. They stopped at 1043 and then started back up at 1101 when the A3 series came into play. Serial numbers 1101 to 1112 were the lucky owners of the A3 machines. But here's a fun twist. Serial numbers 1004 and 1013 were a no-go. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out that in Japanese culture, both the number 4 and the number 13 are considered a bit unlucky. So, to avoid any bad vibes, they decided to skip those numbers altogether. Can't blame them for not wanting to mess with superstitions. Now, let's talk about power. The D575A3 is fueled by a 12-cylinder, 4-stroke, water-cooled, direct-inject, turbocharged, intercooled, 1,150-horsepower Komatsu SA12 V170E diesel engine. Impressive, right? The D575A3 can dig down to a maximum depth of 6 feet 9 inches with its single shank ripper. It's no wonder they call it the world's largest production bulldozer. These mighty machines were primarily used by surface mine operators in the United States, Australia, and Japan. But they also made appearances in heavy construction and quarries. In terms of size, the D575A3SD stands tall at 16 feet and measures a whopping 38 feet, 5 inches in length. These machines are truly giants in the world of bulldozers. It's also a massive beast of a machine that struts around with a ground clearance that's a mind-boggling 2 feet 5 inches. That's not all. It proudly showcases a super dozer blade. With a ground contact area of 101.55 square feet, it exerts an average ground pressure of 23 pounds per inch. Talk about heavy. Now we're not done yet. Let's not forget about the D575A3 Super Ripper, weighing a jaw-dropping 289,570 pounds. And guess what? The D575A3SD weighs an astonishing 336,420 pounds. This machine is a true heavyweight champion. This dozer is so massive that when it needs to be transported over long distances, it's not a simple task. Remember those old-school cable dozers with open operator cabins? Well, let me tell you, my friend, we've come a long way since then. It's like comparing a flip phone to a state-of-the-art smartphone. Advancements in technology have completely transformed the game. Now, don't get me wrong, operating one of these beasts is no walk in the park. It's still a challenging day at the office, no doubt about it. Thanks to the incredible advancements in comfort, it's more like a hard day's work rather than a brutal ordeal. But that's not all. This incredible machine comes with a redesigned operator cabin and powertrain electronic control system for increased productivity. Plus, durability improvements like reinforced undercarriage roller guards, simpler hydraulic plumbing, and longer-lasting hoses, seals, wiring harnesses, and connectors. This machine means serious business, although engineering marvels are scattered throughout time. The Komatsu D575 enjoyed an impressive 21 years of production before being deemed unviable in 2012. Its smaller sibling, the Komatsu 475, secured orders at a ratio of approximately 20 to 1. They have even produced dozers of all sizes for different purposes and are quite popular. When it comes to applications, Komatsu bulldozers are like the Swiss Army knives of the construction world. They can tackle anything from construction sites to quarries and even mining operations. These machines are built to handle it all, and they do it with style. Now, here's a question for you. If you had the chance to operate a Komatsu bulldozer, what epic task would you tackle? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.